she's uh she's all done we are just about to devil's throat on our way out to rescue jj's forerunner well we have less equipment in the jeep today which uh is is being a detractor not a benefit you know we're probably getting better fuel economy but the ride quality has decreased because we don't have the spring weight to smooth out all these terrible bumps and this road is indeed a pos there you go there's a there's a good sign of how rough this road <laughs> is look at that poor stick just being all mad as it can be about being in gear and banging down this hunk of junk All right, we made it. We just burned that road down in a raging way faster than the other day because we went a different way and didn't stop to see all the sights and do all that crap. But we are here. It's like we were here just the other minute. Nothing has happened while we were away. All and my tools are still in it, which yeah, is great. Nobody stopped and raided us. We didn't have any uh, any opportunistic uh, thievery. And we're gonna start working on this thing, get her uh, tied back together and get her up out of here. I wasn't filming and I just had a huge success and I'm way happy about it. So I'm going to share it with you now. Our biggest concern about this repair is that the reason JJ lost these brakes is he had a hard line break and fail. And we were worried about getting the fittings apart because um, that would have been a major hiccup. We, we, we could have just crimped the line off and he could have drove home with three brakes, but four is better than three all the time. Anyway, while I wasn't filming, I got all the fittings out i got the fitting out of the caliper cracked loose i got the hard line and soft line junction to crack apart and man we are just we're super excited now everything's gonna work so we have all the parts we need to put it back together we should be able to full trail repair this vehicle and drive it home after failing break a brake failure and literally crashing it into a tree to save lives and we're gonna put it back together and drive it out of here this is awesome Look at that thing, man. <laughs> Look at the hard lines on my freaking cooler. Show, show, the, show, <laughs> show the folks back home. That thing took a hit. That thing took a hit and it got jacked fine. So this is this is the radiator hitting the, the, the body after it caved and bent. You can see the bend on that thing. She's a... Uh, She's all done. All right, so here's the new radiator. And oddly enough, that radiator right there is, is only a few weeks old. I just barely put it in there and then had this mishap this weekend. So I actually bought a replacement and it's been sitting in the shed for a couple of weeks. So happy accident, I had an extra radiator. <clears throat> Another happy accident. Oh share this with you guys so when you're just buying a, a, a stock hard line from the from the auto parts store and you replace it in one of your custom factory bent hard lines this is trimmer string this is 095 for your lawn trimmer 095 trimmer string and it fits pretty snugly inside this brake line so you feed that through there and then the process you're bending which you're going to do very and slow and carefully but because this is in here, it greatly assists you from accidentally getting a kink in your line because the inside of the line is filled and it's less likely to kink. And I learned this today. That dude taught it to me. Another little trick. Another little trick I'll share with you about bending hard lines. Set that out of my mouth so I can talk to you guys. You get yourself a couple of box end wrenches and then you just work real slow and gentle. But uh, these, these will, they, they grab and hold and you scoot your wrench down and it'll bite again. Put a little bit on it, scoot your wrenches down. I hope I'm I hope I'm doing that in a way that you guys can see. But all I'm doing is just giving it a couple of degrees of turn and then I only scoot my wrenches a couple of millimeters. I grab another bite and do a little bit of in. As long as you're patient and slow and careful, you can bend some really tight bends in a hard brake line. So I'm not done yet, but you can see See how beautiful that radius is, and it's because I have my trimmer line inside of it, and I'm using a trick I learned from an old school mechanic, just to use wrenches. But the biggest trick to this is slow and careful. Make small bites as you work your wrenches down to make your bends. When I get this over to 90 degrees, it will look like a factory made bend. It'll just be smooth and beautiful all the way around. Good, good trick I learned. You're clear.
a prop. I don't see anything coming out on the ground. I think we got this bad boy back together and ready to go home. All right, we're calling that a W. I mean, you know, we really didn't even even make that much of a mess. A little bit of contaminated soil there, but yeah, that's what you do when you break down the sticks. We got water, we got brake fluid. I did some legit home making junk down here and everything's covered in brake fluid, but most of that's from bleeding it out and getting it to work. And when the brake line blew, of course, that fluid's still on there, but hey, we're, we're thinking that we're to the part, we're gonna get it on flatter ground and check the ATF. Make sure the transmission's still good, but hey, we're calling that a win. Soon to be, we're going to be rolling up and getting out of here. So we're checking the ATF because the tranny cooler exploded inside the radiator uh, when we broke it. So we need to make sure we've got enough ATF in here. Oh, crap, we put all the rags away. Uh, do I have one handy? Always keep a napkin handy. You never know when you're going to blow your nose. We'll give her a dip and see where she's at. There's a lot of real estate on that stick. Yes, there is. <laughs> Right down here. I'm in the cold zone all the way. Yeah, I think you're good, dude. We'll uh, we'll run for a few we'll miles a little bit later. You know, cause you need a little while, like you said, to uh, get that brake rotor warm and get it cleaned up. And then this goes without saying, I want you to check your brakes regularly, make sure nothing changes. That's what I'm looking for is for a change in feel. Yeah, I'll in all the testing, I'm just feeling to make sure the pedal doesn't do yeah, any, doesn't... any give or kick on me. So. Oh, we need to do a turn test to make sure everything's okay down here. So that soft line, yeah, give me a give me a full left. I know I'm good left. Give me a full right. Hey, okay, hang on. Yeah, we're good, dude. We're good. That soft line's rubbing against the frame, but it's not. It's not gonna get pinched. No, it's not gonna get pinched. See right here. Right, right here, it reaches yeah. over and rubs on the frame, and that could probably altered by twisting one of the fittings a little bit, but for now, I think you're fine to go home. I didn't snip those zip ties off, but they're not going to get in anything. Yeah. They're not going to hurt nothing. Yeah. That hard line is clearing the spring. <laughs> Miles away from the drive shaft. Oh, I, yeah. I think this was a good trail repair. I think we're good to go, man. I'm just doing one more final check for leaks. I'm gonna reek like coolant for a while. Yeah. I just got the coolant reek out of her from the last time. Okay, do you want me in front of you or behind you? Not in front of me. Okay. So, All right, we're gonna go do some road testing. You can climb in and I'll give you a, a check one, two here. Oh yeah, all right. We're gonna do a radio check and then we're gonna hit the road. Yeah, uh, I was following him to keep an eye on him. He told me he wanted to take the lead for a while because for some reason, JJ's radio misbehaves when he's behind me, when, or when he's in front of me. When he's in front of me, he can't hear me at all, and he wanted to be able to talk to me. So I'm going to take the lead. I can keep an eye on him. He's right there. You know, I'm not going to lose him. So we're out. We are, and when I say we're out, we're, we're back to civilization. There's our paved road. We're going to hop on that, and it's going to take us up to I-15, and we're going to burn back up to St. George and Hurricane where we live, and we will be home. But yeah, we full on, two days ago, this vehicle was in what you would consider an automobile accident. We wrecked it. No two ways about it. We took inventory of what parts we needed. We collected said parts. We went back out in the middle of the Nevada desert, and we repaired it, and we are driving it home. So, uh, yeah, we're out. We're good. We're going to stop here. We're going to air up, and then we are going to go home. I'm Horrible Harv. This is TJ Trucker. Out. Thanks for watching.